Oh, man, tune right there by John Legend. Yep. Yes, welcome back to the show. Our guest this afternoon is a proud single mom and hard worker with a passion for life. She's an interior designer and a certified event and wedding planner. She loves having fun and spending time with the people she loves as she describes herself as an introverted extrovert, aka ambivert. Yeah, like people like us. Yeah. Guys, help us welcome all the way from the Big Brother Nigeria reality show, Shine Your Eye, Jackie B. <laughs> yeah, ambivert like us. <laughs> so staying staying in isolation for like two yeah. weeks was it a problem? Was it two weeks or three weeks? Well, close to three weeks. Yeah, was 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 it a problem for you? Ah, uh, I want to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to be a problem because, like I said, I'm an introvert. Yeah. So I thought, mm, of course, be by me by myself. I think what made it harder was the fact that I couldn't like communicate with family. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, I didn't have my phone, and then we didn't have TV. So it's just pretty much you and your mind, and people like us that have crazy minds. <laughs> doesn't make it any easier, but I mean, I power through it. Um, I read my Bible. Um, <laughs> each page, I kid you not. I'm, that was the only thing you could read, because you said that's all that was in the room. I read it page for page <laughs> until I got to, I think I got to Second Samuel. It's good. I did, it's honestly. <laughs> honestly, it was so entertaining. I started looking forward to reading it because it kept my mind busy. Wow. I felt like a, I don't know if you have, the First Testament. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Old Testament. The Old Testament. Jesus. <laughs> It's, it's like um, Game of Thrones. I yeah. don't know if you've watched this. Yeah. It, it's, David, it's crazy. Quiet, it's, quiet, really, yeah. ah, it's crazy. Um, but it was really nice. Um, I learned so much in the Bible. So it kind of helped prepare me as well for the house. Um, so yeah, thanks for the Bible. That helped me. But it wasn't easy. I almost gave up at some point, to be honest. But um, yeah, we kept going. And thank God, I made it. Pastor Jackie in the building. <laughs> All I can hear is, it wasn't easy, Honestly, but it no, was no, no, worth no. it. God, God knows. I, no, God knows. God knows. I became a pastor in that place. Like, no. oh, amazing. I and I know the, the very first time like you walked into the house, the guys had that whole game where oh, they're like, the yeah, they're like, shh. Yes. What were you thinking? Oh, my God. I was like, wait, you know, obviously, everybody has like pictured how they're going to walk into the house. <laughs> and, you know, you're walking in and you're... In fact, yeah, I was expecting, because at that point, when it was only girls going in, I was like, ah, there's probably boys already inside there. So I was already imagining I'm going to walk in and this was like, oh, yeah! And for me to walk everywhere, it's quiet. The boys are not even looking at you. <laughs> and I just remember, in part, Paris' face in particular, like, just looked at me, I was like, shh. I don't know if you saw my face. I think I saw my, no, my I was just like, wait, I think, oh God, this is like, that's guy. that face. <laughs> I was just like, wait, who's this one? <laughs> that's probably one of the reasons why we and Perry didn't get along in the house, because I would never forget how he shushed me. That thing was crazy. The next thing I noticed, there's boxers on their heads. I was like, ah, this can't be real. This can't be happening right now. <laughs> Fine looking men with boxers on their head, and they're not talking to you. So I was very upset, too. I was just looking at all of them, like. <laughs> but I mean, I, at some point, I figured it was a prank. Yeah. Um, that's why I kept talking. Even when they were saying, oh, Big Brother said, just keep going, I was like, they lie. <laughs> I kept talking. I think my, myself and Tega were just talking. Couldn't even help ourselves. I mean, I just go into Big Brother house. Allow me to enjoy the moment. <laughs> Allow Don't me shush to me. enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Don't shush me. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good way of welcoming us into the house anyway, even though it wasn't my idea of a good thing. But <laughs> All right. they did their thing. Now, let's talk about Clash of Personalities. Right. Yeah. Because you know, <laughs> you had some people in the house, yeah, and then Maria, and you yeah. know, people were talking about how she, you know, reacts and talks to people and all that. <laughs> and then somebody was telling me because we watch this show and you have so many people having their thoughts and talking about, you know, mm -hmm. and so somebody said, Ah, Jackie B will not take any nonsense because Jackie B stood up too, you know, and all that. So I really want to know what is it because I asked somebody, uh, I think it was Peace who was, who was here the last mm -hmm. time, and then I asked her, Who was your least favorite? Housemate. Mm -hmm. Will you say because of that thing you had with Maria, it is Maria, and then what is it with the personality and the clash of personality? Hmm. No, I, would, I wouldn't say Maria is my least favorite housemate, to be honest. I, would, I think um, the thing is, when I go into the house, and I'm just like that, when I get into a space, I kind of observe everybody to know how I'm going to relate with you, you know, and ultimately my goal is to avoid having any clashes. That's always my goal, you know. I don't like having confrontation and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah, when I noticed Maria talking and everything, I knew that, okay, this girl is going to... And I told her, I was like, I'm just going to stay away from you because I'm not trying to get into anything. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I actually kept avoiding her for, I think, for, like, two weeks. 
Um, she even noticed, and it was quite bad apparently because I was, that was how bad I was trying to avoid. So I would just begin her voice from my phone. I'd be like, hey, this girl, please don't come near me. Please don't come near me. And I remember even telling Big Brother that week that we had a confrontation. I was like, Big Brother, I can feel it. I feel like me and Maria are going to fight. I told everybody in the house, I was like, I can't feel it, I can't feel it. I even told Maria, and we laughed about it. That was how bad it was. Um, but after the confrontation, funny enough, I kind of understood her better, and she also understood me. Um, she could say, okay, this girl doesn't really like, I, don't, I shouldn't talk to her this this way, it will rub her off this way, let me not say certain things to mm -hmm. her, you know. So after that conversation we had, I was actually able to understand her better, and she's just that kind of person, and I actually respect that. And yeah, I was able to understand her better, and because she did as well, we didn't have to have any issues after that, and it was just perfectly cool. So I wouldn't say she's my least favorite housemate, to be honest. Initially, yes, I avoided her because I knew that, you know, our personalities would definitely clash. But who is your least favorite? <laughs> huh, who's my least favorite? Uh... Maybe Perry, because Perry is always looking for my Jerry trouble. Perry. Okay, now just hold on to my trouble. <laughs> Let's go on this commercial break and we will return. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us, this is East Flash, and we still have Big Brother Nanja, shine your eye, evicted housemate Jackie B in the building. Yes. And she just said the craziest thing right now. Let me, let me report her. Yeah. She said, she said, ah, he hung out with you. I think people don't understand how crazy it is to be locked to up be, for that long, come uh, out and have all this information coming so much at you going on. at the I'm same time. I'm just trying time. not to even think about it, to be honest. I feel exactly. like I'm just, they removed me from the world, threw me outside. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're just like, okay, come back. Put me back. Where do All I right. start from? So since you left the house, what's the craziest thing like that shocked you? Like, what's that thing that you heard and were like, ah, uh ah, -uh, me, I was inside the house, no knowing this was happening but, outside. Ha, where is the president, by the way? Oh, <laughs> that's good to know. I haven't even, I haven't watched TV, to be wow. honest. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know Biden won the election. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you something about that house here. Yeah. You forget things. Like, yeah. Well, for me and a few people that I spoke to in the house, like, mm -hmm. I don't know what happens, but a lot of us are having, like, we started forgetting things, even, like, things about family, wow. friends. Like, you'd ask a very basic question, and everybody would be like, hmm, hmm I know this now. Like, <laughs> even your favorite color, is that bad? Like, you'd be like, hmm, what's that? People are forgetting the name of their own songs. People mm -hmm. are forgetting the name of their own songs. Some people are that's happening I don't know what it is. I think it's just, you know, when you're, I don't know, man, but, oh, it was crazy. So, I mean, coming out, honestly, it was like starting from scratch. Yeah, I think oh that's God. why I've not watched TV. I don't even know. I don't want to just feel like I'm too lost. Yeah. So, I don't want to start watching something and then you don't know the genesis of it. I really it's don't fine. even okay. know. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> relationship and situationship. Uh -uh. Okay, okay. 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 relationship and situationship. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this one. So, when you enter the house, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something between Boma. I don't know what Boma oh. was trying to do with you. First week. Like, first week. Right. Uh -huh. And I don't know. That Michael just came from nowhere. <laughs> landed. He and just landed. went straight to where? He landed. He landed, though. Well. And to, wait, too, so because you're going to. So, and towards the end, when Michael, then, one thing, when Michael left, what was that thing? I didn't, I didn't see any emotions. Like when he was leaving, I'm Girl. like, hey, Jackie B, what's wrong with that? I know, that? apparently people said I was heartless. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. problems. Oh. You know emotions. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, they're so they're that they're one, that right. one will mark it. Just think it's okay. not finished. Yeah, no, I don't want to ask the question. It's one A, one so, B. So I'm just <laughs> taking you through the things that went. Mm -hmm. So when, mm. when Michael now left, white money. What was that in between you and Queen? And White Money was like, you know, I've always liked Jackie Wee. And then, Jackie, did you know any, hey, what was that thing? Just from the, no, from the beginning, no, that Boma and take us through it. Okay, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> so, with the Boma, um, when I first walked into the house, not walked in, but on that first day, yeah. it was very clear that Boma, you know, had some attraction or something towards me. I mean, and, and it was very expected. And J-Paul in the mix a little bit. Okay, so with okay, let me start with with Boma. So with Boma, um I definitely noticed that he was looking at me, you know, and everything. And it's normal, like that first day everybody's looking at somebody okay. here or looking mm -hmm. at several people. Mm -hmm. So I knew okay Boma was there, you know, because he was he helping me with my suitcases, he was such a gentleman mm. and everything. So I definitely knew, I mean I'm not stupid. So I got the point, and then I think the next day or something, I started to hear things, and then he told me, you know, that, oh, I like you and everything. And then I told him, like, okay, I'm not trying to, you know, I don't know, but I'm not really there right now. 
and everything. And he respected it. And honestly, since then, we were friends. I don't mm -hmm. know if he continued liking me or in what way. I don't know. Okay. Um, then um, I think there was a point here where G. Paul told me, oh, I really do like you. Um, and I don't want to look at anybody else until I know what it is that you want. And I also give him the same answer I gave Boma. You know, I actually want us to be friends. Let's not mess it up. You know, then... What was it? Michael. Oh. <laughs> Who's next? Or who else did you show your family picture? Because it's, oh it's, because it's your family God. pictures. Actually, I showed every, almost everybody in that house my family picture. Yeah. Even, before, so? even before uh, Michael came in. Yeah. But I don't know why well, so the camera decided to focus Boma. on me and Michael. Uh -huh. But I actually showed everybody. I think I showed Boma. I actually showed Boma. Mm -hmm. I showed almost everybody. Like, even, even Paris saw my pictures even yeah. before Michael. Yeah, but I don't think they showed that part where we're all sharing <laughs> our pictures. But yeah, with Michael, he came late. So... He hadn't seen it, and it was more like, because it was one-on-one, -on -one, it was more intimate, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, it was yes, more intimate. It was more intimate. Mm -hmm. So by the time Michael came in, Michael came in like two weeks into the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By that time, you know, everybody's already getting used to and familiar and getting bored. I get bored quickly. Mm -hmm. So I started getting bored. And I'm not going to lie, as much as, yeah, it was competition, walking through that door, I was like, ah, oh, thank God. Fresh guys coming in, hey. mm. new things to look at. So, yeah. yeah, I was excited. And of course, the first person that walked in was a nice looking man. And then he spoke and he was so intelligent. Wow. He's so intelligent. I could tell from just hearing him speak. So I was like, ah, okay, we'll give this one. Like, let's see, let's see, we'll give this one. And then it was very obvious it was mutual um, because we just clicked very instantly. And that was why everything moved very quickly. And yeah, I guess um, everything else was history. So what do you think about Angel and Peace? Angel and Peace. Yeah. In that mix of Michael. Uh, because I asked Peace that question. I yeah. said, Jackie B is your friend. And you'll be like, <laughs> you, you'll say, oh, she's my friend. And then you'll go and be robbing Michael. <laughs> say, oh, that's so well. unfair. That's, a, that's an unfair question. I'm like, no. Oh. Well, I mean, to be honest, yeah, we all get very cozy with each other in the house, to be honest. Like, I was, like, we're all very, like, close. You mm -hmm. can be very close to a guy. It looks like you're attracted to him or you're robbing body with him. But it's honestly not even that deep. Like, I was close to Cross. I was very close to Sammy. We'll be on the bed. I know some people even thought Sammy liked me, but... So I can understand that sometimes it looks like it's something, but it's probably not. Even Again, with Angel? I, um, I, with Angel, I probably had the wrong impression. But yeah, I saw, what I saw made me feel a certain way. And I reacted. But we had a conversation and I understood her better after that, which is why people have conversations. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But yeah, I did think they were in the mix. No, not peace. I did think Angel was in the mix at some point. But when she made me understand that, okay, it's not, it's not of that, you know, we all moved on. I also had a conversation with Michael and he helped mm -hmm. me understand the situation better. So um, play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. So, yeah, but with Peace, um, no, but I think she's cool. She's an amazing girl. She's a friend of mine. And I'm not going to say what I don't know and what I did not see, but I didn't mm. see none of that. So, okay. what's, okay. The, so what's the situation okay. with Michael now? Michael and I are cool. <laughs> See, that cool hey, can be, that cool <laughs> can be compartmentalized in so many, what, cool, cool, uh, cool, uh, cool, uh, cool. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, we're getting to know each other. I mean, why we didn't really do anything in the house is, because, I mean, make anything official in the house, because we wanted to come out, get yeah. to know each other better, you know, get to see our lives and everything, which is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're doing that. We're getting to know each other and better. And the shippers are in full support. Hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. Let, let's talk about the Jackie B, the soothsayer. Yeah, you saw the people that were, according to Cross, you oh. saw people that were leaving before you left. Yeah. And you actually gave him the lineup of people that will leave during your time that yourself, J. Yeah. Paul. And you also predicted people that will last the top five yes. of the show. Yes. So did you see that? That Are you a soothsayer now? Um, well, honestly, something that people don't know will about Rihanna, me... Will Rihanna accept my proposal? No. Since you're... Wow. I saw, I saw, I, just you now, just, just now, saw I saw it. it. I just saw it. What? No, 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 Rihanna. <laughs> no. I just saw it. It's, and it's not because it's Rihanna. I actually saw it. Wow. Oh, nice yeah, one. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, people don't know this, but I do have a gift. I don't really talk about it a lot. Mm -hmm. With my own, I saw my own. Okay. Sure, so I can speak for my own. Top five, honestly, just predicted. I haven't really seen that one yet. Um, but yeah, people that the three people that are in right now, I mean, I think who's, who's there? Emmanuel, I think there's Emmanuel. I mean, I definitely so I definitely um, there are eight cross yeah. getting there as well. So I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I think White Money as well has a great chance, mm. you know, again in there. Um, who was it? The Angel. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. What but are you rooting for? Huh, honestly, hmm. I'm. The top five I've mentioned, I'm rooting for them. The people that I feel like are on top there, like honestly, they've all deserved, you know, they all deserve it. We all, I mean, everybody's a winner, like I always say. Um, but I mean, they've, 
they deserve it and I honestly wish all of them the best. Okay, go, going forward, what's next for Jackie B now? Ooh, well, I want to obviously expand my business, you know, my interior designing and wedding planning. I actually did it on a smaller scale, but now it's Jackie B to the world, guys. Hey. So when you think of interior design, you're going to think of Jackie Bent. When you think of wedding planning, you're going to think of Jackie Bent. And you plan that myself and Rihanna's wedding, you will see. Huh? Ha! You yeah. are still yeah. refusing that you have the same vision that you are not going to be you together. You will plan it. No, <laughs> in, in, the, in our dream, we we'll do it. <laughs> okay! And I did for free, too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jackie <laughs> Bent, for coming on Thank the show you today. Thank you so much, Jackie Bent. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's been so wonderful. All right, so you're still here. Keep watching, and yes. <laughs>